In this video, we're going to show you our first impressions of Buenos Aires. I'm Gabe, and this is my wife, Bruna. We're both financial planners turned digital nomads, and we're currently on a seven-month trip around the globe. In this channel, we show you that it's possible to travel the world while working and maintaining a healthy work-life balance. We're actually right here in Galeão Airport in Rio de Janeiro, and we found out that if you want to spend money in Argentina, I mean, no one wants to spend money, but if you have to spend money in Argentina, the best way is by paying cash for everything. And if you want to get the blue rate, which is technically the best rate you can get, you can transfer your money through Western Union and pick up at the locations that they have there. So apparently every block, they have two or three Western Unions. You just go in there, you send through your credit card or your debit card, and you can pick it up through one of the agents. Now, the thing that I just learned right now is that I was trying to send $500 and I was getting errors multiple and multiple times. So that happened like seven or eight times. And I was like, what the hell am I going to do? But we found out that a lot of the places you send money to there, they don't have enough cash to give you. So I had to send like $150, which is like 150,000 uh, Argentinian pesos. And hopefully they'll have that amount of money for us to withdraw. So you have to send little by little. You can't send the whole thing for the two weeks you're staying there for the week you're staying there at, at a time. So just keep that in mind. We arrived in Buenos Aires late at night, so we headed straight to our Airbnb. We rented out an Airbnb in the neighborhood called Palermo because it was recommended to us. Palermo and Recoleta are the two best areas that you can rent out an Airbnb. The place that we got was very spacious, it had everything we needed, and it was about $45 a night, which was a great deal for us. Especially because this place had high-speed internet and we could work from there pretty comfortably and it had everything we needed. As soon as we dropped off all our things at this Airbnb, it was time for us to go find some food because we were super duper hungry. All right, so we walked around and we went to a restaurant that was recommended to us called El Preferido de Palermo, but it was packed. And Don Julio, which is another famous one, it was also packed and we didn't want to wait. I mean, I didn't want to wait. So we found this restaurant close by called Bulls Barbecue. And it was very well rated on Google Maps. We bought a beer, a Patagonia beer, a Pepsi that came with the with the bottom pop, and also a mix a mix of barbecue, and it was thirty thousand pesos, which is about thirty dollars. We'll see how big the mix is, so we'll let you guys know if it's good or not. Let's check it out. The experience was pretty good and the food was amazing. Later on, we went to the Airbnb because we wanted to get some rest because the next day we were going on a bus tour. Woke up early in the morning, went to have breakfast at Rita. Rita is this laid back cafe in Palermo, which was a three minute walk from our Airbnb and it was awesome. Again, a lot of food came to our table. The food was delicious and our bill was about $20. After Rita, Bruno went home to freshen up and I was going to Western Union to withdraw cash. If you're in Argentina and depending on the type of credit card you have, it might be a good idea for you to withdraw cash. The way you can find out if it's a good idea or not is just using your credit card for one purchase to see what kind of rate you are getting. If you compare that rate to Western Union and you see that there's a 15, 20% difference, then obviously it's better to use Western Union. In our case, that was exactly the difference that we were getting, 20%. So for me, it was worth making that trip. Now that we got the money, it's time to go on the bus tour. I booked this bus tour online on Viator, and the whole idea around this bus tour was for us to get to know the city that we were gonna stay in for two to three weeks. So the first stop was Teatro Colón. We checked it out. We try to come in. Try to go in. No availability to go in with the guided tour, so we're just gonna walk around and check other places. Let's go. I think that bus tours are obviously things that are very touristy. I get that people frown upon bus tours because they say it's very touristy and you really don't get to know the whole city. But for me, it's a good idea. A friend recommended us doing it and it was awesome. We got to see the theater, Teatro Colón. We went to the Obelisco Monument and we also went to El Caminito. El Caminito is a pretty cool place where you can walk around, do some shopping, see some attractions, talk to different people, and maybe have a beer or a wine. And that's exactly what we did. The beers and the wine cost us around $15, which was a good deal. I mean, it wasn't the cheapest thing in the world, but it wasn't bad. Okay, so one thing you do have to note about Argentina is that they do not 
care about portion control and I love it. Look at the size of this glass. It's a big glass. I mean, the beer is big as well, just like in the States. But the food that we had this morning at Rita and yesterday we went out for barbecue at night, the portions were enormous. So it ends up being really cheap here because it's already cheap, but also because you get a bang for your buck. I love that. Good job, Argentina. After El Caminito, we went back on the bus and we went to Puente de la Mujer. Puente de la Mujer is also an attraction here in Buenos Aires and it's a cool area to visit. By the river, there are a lot of restaurants that get popping at night and a lot of people go there. Last stop was the Metallic Flower that unfortunately was closed. The flower had just gone through a big storm, so it was broken down and we really just saw it from far away. Later that night, we went to El Cuartito, which was recommended to us for its famous pizza. Now this place has been in business for 90 years and it really has amazing pizza. We had the Fugazeta, which is a pizza with cream cheese and onion and it was awesome. For two people, we spent $12 for one pizza and soda, so it was really cheap and it's definitely worth a visit if you do go there. Now, what do we think of Buenos Aires? Buenos Aires is a beautiful city. It is very clean. It has amazing architecture and we absolutely loved it so far. We did find the cost of living here super cheap and it does have amazing internet and people here are awesome. So all in all, Buenos Aires for us has been an amazing experience. We're gonna go in depth a little bit more in our next videos to see if there are pros and cons to visiting Buenos Aires. But all in all, I'd say it's a great trip. Now that is all guys. Thank you for watching up until now. I will ask you to drop a like and subscribe to our channel so you can join us in the Scarabelli way. In our next video, we're gonna be visiting the end of the world, a city called Ushuaia in the south of Argentina. We'll see you there.